Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, what's up? My name is Vina Strick. Thank you so much for being here. So today I decided to do something very different for my channel and do a full face of high-end and luxury makeup. All of this, this face right here cost a thousand dollars. A thousand dollars, can you believe that? It's so crazy to think like how much your money just adds up, especially on something like makeup. So I wanted to do this video for you guys to show you a bunch of different luxurious products, how they wear, how they look, and I also told you guys if it's worth your money or not. I obviously don't think a thousand dollars is worth it, but specific products I did recommend to you guys, and I really hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you do enjoy this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to join my school. What? Let's get into the video. And really quickly, I wanted to give sort of a disclaimer, not because I think I'll get hate for this video, but because I really want you guys to understand like what I'm trying to get at with this video. I do a lot of affordable, affordable videos. I just did a full face of $1 makeup. Now I'm doing a full face with $1,000 of makeup. Honestly, anything that is luxury in this video, I've gotten in PR. I've never actually spent my money on luxury makeup. I know that some of you do have the budget to pay more for makeup if that's something that you choose to do. So I will recommend some products to you guys. Um, do I think you need to spend so much money on a product ever? Absolutely not. But I will tell you guys if I like a product or not. So I will do my eyebrows off camera because I feel like that is just really, really boring. I will be using the Benefit Full Proof Powder in the shade 5. The Benefit Cabrow in the shade 4.5 as well as the 24 hour brow setter. This would be like my high end brow routine right now. Each one of these products are $24. Okay, so I'm back with the brows on and I just wanted to say that these products I definitely do recommend. Powder and this pomade have become my holy grails and I think they're amazing. They're actually my favorite products from the Benefit brow line. So we're gonna start out with some primer and when I'm trying to be extra and I'm getting ready for something special, I like to do a combination of primers because I like to get the best out of all of them. So since this is a pretty extra video, I'm gonna be using two luxury primers. This is the YSL Touche Claw Blur Primer and it does have gold specks in it. And then this one is the Guerlain Lore Primer and this also has gold in it. YSL one is a blurring primer, so this is gonna be your silicone type based primer that's gonna fill in your pores. And then this one I really, really like because not only it's hydrating, a little bit glowy but I love how um, tacky it gets this really really like lets your foundation attach to the skin this uh, primer is $52 and this one is $74 I actually really like both of them if I had to pick one that I like better is this one as you guys can see I have used a lot more than this one so I'm gonna take about a pump and a half two pumps of the Garlon one and I'm first gonna apply that all over my face but mainly like on the cheek area and then just spread it by the way this smells amazing but the scent is pretty strong so if you don't like scents definitely stay away from this it does feel like very very moisturizing but look at this very tacky. I'm gonna take the YSL blur primer and I'm only gonna take like one and a half pumps and this I'm gonna put on where I have pores. So I like to really blur out my nose, on my chin, and then on my cheeks. So the next product is actually what really inspired me to do this whole video. And it is this foundation. I got this in PR and it's already dirty because I was swatching it, but I've never actually tried it. This is a Givenchy Tint Couture everywhere so this is a 24 hour wear satin finish full coverage and comfort and it also has spf of 20 and i have the shade y300 so it does come with a pump and it's in a glass bottle very very nice packaging this retails for 52 dollars i'm just gonna dot this all over my face it's very um thin and by the way this has a very very strong fragrance it smells really good but I'm really just telling you for the people that have like sensitivity. Wow, this is blending out really, really nice. This is such a thin consistency, but it's definitely giving me some coverage. I will say it's giving me more coverage with a brush than a sponge, 
which that usually tends to happen. This full coverage, I'm sure you can build it up, but personally, I don't like to cake on foundation and I don't think I need so much coverage, so like that's why I don't use so much product. It looks so beautiful on the skin, very, very light. This foundation is freaking awesome. So we'll just have to see how it wears and how it really reacts to other products. Like I said, when I like to be extra, I like to take every step to really have like a flawless, flawless finish. So when I do wanna take that extra step, I actually like to color correct under my eyes for my eye bags. This is the First Aid Beauty Eye Duty Triple Remedy in the shade Fair Medium. And this product is $36. Put a little bit like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and just really blend this out. You don't need a lot of product. I actually put way too much, especially because of this little applicator you don't lose any product because it's just really sliding in around. You know, obviously this is a little bit on the high end side, but it does come with a lot of product because this will last you a long, long time. I'm going in with a very light hand to not lose the coverage, but as you can see, it instantly brightens. Okay, and now we're gonna go in with the concealer. This is not a luxurious concealer, it's just a high-end one, and I love it. It's my holy grail concealer. I think everyone and their mother should buy this. This is the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer, and I do have it in the shade Golden Beige. If you're gonna use this, you don't need a corrector or a highlighter, but again, we're just being extra in this video, and if you like to take those extra steps, then I say do it. So. I am going to just blend this all over where I want to highlight. Actually, no, I'm just gonna leave it right there because we are gonna be using a luxurious highlighter. And I also like to use this as eye primer. I really don't ever use eye primer, so I didn't wanna like really milk it and use an eye primer as well because that's just something that I don't do. So now that we have that done, Let's do another step and just be really extra. Why don't we highlight with some YSL? So this is the YSL Touche A Claw Radiant Touch. This is really just a little clicky pen that highlights. This doesn't have very much coverage. I mean, you could use this as concealer if you're not looking for a full coverage look. Personally, I don't recommend this. Um, it's a fine product. This alone costs $42. Um, I think that you could just get a uh, uh, concealer that's a little bit lighter. I don't think you need this little clicky pen to highlight. Now that we're highlighted, I'm gonna blend that out again. Like I said, that doesn't give much coverage. It just gives like a little lift, a little bit of highlight. So now we're gonna do a little bit of cream contouring before I put any powder. The contour kit that I wanted to show you guys is this one right here. This is the Kevin Aquan Contour Book, and this is the Volume 2. It actually has some powder contour, cream contour, and some eyeshadows. So this puppy retails for $65. I'm gonna go in with uh, the shade Sculpting Cream. I actually reviewed this like a long, long time ago, and I didn't give it the best review just because I just remember that I didn't really like the cream. I thought this was supposed to be like a cream highlight under the eyes, but it turns out this is more of like a cheekbone highlight. It's almost like, it's almost clear. So, um, you know, I, I probably was a little bit harsh on it. I actually got a lot of haters on, in that video telling me that I didn't know anything about Kevin Aquan and a bunch of stuff, but at the end of the day, I just don't think some things are worth the money, and I'm always gonna be honest with you guys about that. I just applied the cream contour, and I actually really, really enjoy this. It's not very harsh. It's like almost like half pigment, half not, but that actually makes it really, really nice to contour with because it's very forgivable. You can't really make mistakes with it. So now I'm gonna go in with the sculpting powder and just set that. Okay, and that is all we're gonna use from this. I actually, you know, the eyeshadows are pretty good. They're okay. I don't really ever go to this palette for these eyeshadows. It's $65, and for me, all I really care to use are these two shades, so for me, it's just not really worth it. I actually don't have like a luxury powder. All I have is the holy grail of everyone, but this is pretty pricey. This is the Laura Mercier powder, and this is actually $38. So I'm just gonna do a light dusting under my eyes and also 
on my eyelids and again just really anywhere that I need to set this is actually a really really nice powder I guess I would recommend this to you guys like I said I don't think you need anything out of this video but if you're in the market for a really nice high-end powder I mean if you didn't know this one is a really good one all right guys so we're back to being extra I love I just like the best of both worlds. So I really like working with a matte bronzer to bronze all over, but then I like to use a luminous bronzer on top. I really like using a lot of bronzer. I love giving myself that bronzed glow, but I don't wanna look super shimmery everywhere. So we're gonna use two bronzers. One is high-end and one is luxury. This is the Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess and I do have the shade 03 Medium Deep. This bronzer is $40, so it is a high-end price, but if you have been eyeing this and again, you have the budget and you want it, um, I definitely think it's such a beautiful, completely matte bronzer and the formula is really awesome because it's not super powdery and it lasts forever. So I'm just gonna bronze a little bit over the contour and kind of just blend everything together. But see, it's just, it's not like powdery. When you pick it up, you just, it's just a really, really nice formula. So I really do like this. For the Luminous Bronzer, I actually have other ones that I love so much more than this one, but this is just like the most expensive, luxurious ones that I have. So this is the Givenchy Les Soissons Healthy Glow Powder Bronzer in the shade 03. This is a $53 bronzer, and just look at the size comparison. It does give a beautiful, almost like an hourglass candle lit glow. It looks very pretty, very, very healthy. I honestly could have gone with a darker shade. There's other things out there that you could use. I, I don't love it, so I don't think you should spend that much money on it. For blush, I don't have any luxurious blushes. I only have high-end, so I decided to use a high-end palette. So this is the Pure 4-in-1 Blush Book. Really, really beautiful. And then you open it up. And it does not have a mirror, but look how big these blushes are. So this blush palette is $36. Um, some Becca blushes are $32 by themselves. So I definitely think this is worth the money. Not only does it have different shades, but this uh, shade right here is very, very shimmery. If you wanted to, go in with a smaller brush and use each shade. So I definitely think this is worth the money. I feel like no one really talks about this. So I'm gonna use a more neutral shade, which is this one right here. This is the shade Honest. And I'm just gonna go in with a light hand because they are very pigmented. But it's nice because honestly, you could get this and it would last for the rest of your life. Like no joke. I definitely recommend this. Definitely just go in a store and swatch it because they're so pigmented. So I do have a very luxurious highlight for you guys. Aww. This comes in a velvet pouch. This is the Kevin Aquan Neo Highlighter and it is huge. And it has a mirror. Aww. This is in the shade Golden Rose Glow. This is more of a golden shade. This is more of a pinky shade. And this is more of a pale, pale, lighter gold shade. So it does have an ombre, but I don't know. It's just so faint that I don't think you would really notice. Like, I don't feel like you're getting three different shades. $58. So, and we're just going to apply it. It is a really beautiful formula. And we are highlighted. I actually think that this is a beautiful highlight. I think it looks really nice on the skin and you do get a lot of product, a mirror and a really nice package. So I do think that if you wanna get this, you should. So this is not really like a very in-depth tutorial. So I will use an eyeshadow palette, but I'm not gonna go like step by step. I'm just gonna do a quick look. Most expensive eyeshadow palette that I own is actually this one. And my boyfriend's sister actually gave me this one and I love it, it's so beautiful. If you didn't know, this is the Huda Beauty The Nude Eyeshadow Palette. And this is what it looks like. I really like it because it has it has 18 eyeshadows, five ready to layer textures. So it has 10 mattes, four multi-reflecting shadows, two pressed glitters, one pressed pearl, and one concealer base. This is a $65 palette.
Okay, so this is the look that I created. Um, I used the mattes, I used a little bit of the glitter, the paralyzed finish, and the shimmer. And I really, really like it. I think it's such a beautiful palette. So, I do recommend this. So for eyeliner, I do have a little felt tip liner from Stila, and this is $20. It is a felt tip, like I said. Um, Personally, as even though it does work well, I just don't think that you need to spend so much money for a felt tip just because there are like other ones that I like from like Essence and Drugstore. So I've just, I've never been one to spend a bunch of money on high-end liners. So for that reason, I'm out now. For that reason, I just wouldn't recommend it. So I just did a thin line. Now let's talk about a product that actually surprised me. I just never thought you should spend so much money on a eyelash curler, but wow. This is $21. It is an eyelash curler from Kevin Aquan. I definitely think you should get it if you are just in the market for an amazing eyelash curler. So the high-end mascara that I want to talk about, it's a Kevin Aquan mascara, and this is called the Expert Mascara, and I do have it in the shade black. So I am going to apply it, just like a nice layer on my top and my bottom lashes. So I do like this mascara, um, it, but I don't recommend it to you guys. It's $29, and I just don't... Like, it's not a bad mascara, but it's like... Uh, there's other mascaras that are like 10 times better. So it's not bad, but it's not my favorite. I don't think you need this. So for the fake lashes, I decided to use these pure lashes. And these are actually the only high-end lashes that I own. Uh, my eyelashes are mainly from the Larza Cosmetics. Um, I like Ardell. I also like Ilore. I think my lashes with Alarza Cosmetics are high-end lashes. They're high-end quality, but they're only like 15 bucks. So I just don't ever want to pay more than that for lashes. These are called the Pure Pro Eyelashes 3D Cruelty-Free Luxe Lashes. And these are in the style Bombshell. I'm sorry that these are all crooked. Obviously, I've used them before. So I will be applying this with this, which is $8. And this is the Pure Pro Eyelash Glue. Um, I will say right off the bat, don't get this. This sucks. <laughs> Sorry. I actually love the Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive. It's, I believe, like half the price. Okay, lashes are on. Honestly, guys, I just had the hardest time with that glue. Definitely don't get it. And also, these lashes are pretty, but they're just not my favorite, so I wouldn't recommend these. Okay, so lastly, let's do lips and set the face and be done spending all our money in this video. So, this is the Huda Beauty Lip Contour in the shade Trophy Wife. Okay, so I lined my lips and filled them in a little, and I do have to say that Huda Beauty lip products are really, really nice. I also like their liquid lipstick, and this lip liner is really nice. So if you are eyeing this, I really do like it. So for liquid lipstick, I do have a high-end one, and this is an Ofra one. This is $20, and I do have in the shade Baroque. Baroque? And this is a brand new Ofra packaging, really, really nice and sleek. I do recommend these. I think they're really, really nice. Some of my favorite formulas ever. Um, the liquid lipsticks are so comfortable and they do last forever. So I love Ofra liquid lipsticks. All right, and I do want to add some gloss. And for that, I do have uh, my only high-end gloss ever. This is the Becca Cosmetic Glow Gloss and I do have it in the shade Champagne Cream. And this puppy right here is $22. I do think it's a really nice gloss. It does have a little bit of shimmer in it, but it doesn't feel super gritty. And I really like the shade. So if you were eyeing this gloss, it does have a good formula and I actually really do like the shade. And this does have like a minty taste and scent. So this is a holy grail for a lot of people. This is the Urban K All Nighter Setting Spray. It is $32, definitely, definitely high end, but it works really well. And if you just need or like a really, really good setting spray, definitely try this out. I really do like it. Okay guys, and this is the final result. I have to say that I really do love this makeup look. I think it looks pretty flawless, but do I think you need to spend a thousand dollars on this? Absolutely not. This face is not worth a thousand dollars. I don't think you need anything in this video. You don't need any makeup. 
If you are looking for very affordable options, I do have affordable videos. I can actually link them down below. Definitely check those out if that's what you're interested in. But if you are interested in just seeing high-end and luxury makeup, then I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, altogether, these products ended up costing about $950 almost $960, I believe. But the reason why I said 1,000 is because I actually didn't count the brushes that I used, and those are makeup tools, so it would have been more than $1,000. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely comment down below and let me know what you guys wanna see next, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.